good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the Wednesday, the 1st of March 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple app, app store as well. Okay, now in terms of the markets, uh, it certainly seems like the bearish sentiment has evaporated very quickly. Even with Mr. Trump's speech overnight, giving no substance, giving no detail, uh, certainly not clarifying anything at all, uh, and certainly sending the markets, from my understanding, should have sent the markets lower. But uh, we certainly have the opposite with the European markets very, very um, bullish this morning. You have the FTSE up uh, testing the uh, all-time highs around the 7350 level. You have the German DAX up a whopping 1.4, the CAC up 1.6, even with the political uncertainty and uh, Miss Le Pen certainly gaining ground, and also Mr. Fylon's potentially uh, potentially uh, hazardous uh, attempt at running for the presidency. Uh, again, that creates more uncertainty, creates more fear. Okay, and Miss Le Pen certainly is gaining ground and, and certainly benefiting from that. So, any sort of scandal, with one of the main politicians, it certainly serves the radicals and the extremists because that plays right into their hands and therefore increases the risk aversion. Now, in terms of European data this morning, let's just start quickly start off with the Asia, sorry, Asian markets overnight. You have the Nikkei up by 1.4%, the Shanghai more or less flat, Hang Seng flat as well, okay? Now, in terms of economic data today, you have Chinese data out overnight, more or less in line. Uh, Non-manufacturing came in weaker, and actual uh, uh, Caxin came in uh, slightly uh, stronger. So overall, flat stroke in accordance in uh, basically in accordance uh, certainly not negative okay well that certainly has kept the uh, shanghai flat so no real positive movement from shanghai french pmi actually came in uh, on the weaker side italian pmi came in on the stronger side german pmi came in weaker unemployment change minus 14k so jobs data certainly coming in more or less stellar okay uh, eurozone pmi coming in slightly weaker as well okay uh, UK market PMI actually coming in weaker too. Uh, consumer credit actually coming in slightly stronger. Mortgage approvals coming came in on the on the positive side. In terms of the CPI data, we're looking forward to that now in uh, for Germany in the next few minutes. But we did actually get PPI from Germany, that uh, and uh, other inflation data from Germany that certainly is uh, indicating hotter inflation, stronger inflation, and therefore indicating risk off. Given the fact that we had a report from ECB earlier on today as well indicating that the eurozone inflation certainly is getting too hot to handle and therefore is indicating in the risk of version okay so that certainly seems to be a status quo there okay so for, for basically mr trump's speech gave no further details and uh, no uh, further uh, elaboration on how he attend intends to uh, fund this one trillion infrastructure program so again for my understanding it's net net negative i can't see any positives coming from that at all okay yes you had chinese data that certainly has helped to a large extent but what else? Nothing. Uh, no substance, nothing. It's all rhetoric so far. So from my understanding, it's very puzzling and baffling as to why equity markets would be going higher. Okay. Yes, you have the dollar moving higher as well on the back of uh, Fed rate hikes, obviously pricing almost as, as higher, above 50% now. Okay. Uh, all the Fed uh, members yesterday certainly uh, uh, beating the drum of the, uh, the hawkish stick. Okay. Uh, indicating dollar moving higher, a dollar strength has certainly or will certainly hurt uh, commodities okay we as we all know even though mr trump's so-called one trillion dollar or one trillion dollar fiscal stimulus program it is helping and that has helped the the, uh, the actual metals to a large extent but all that's certainly baked into the market now i can't see why we would continue to move higher based on that really i mean given the fact that the last three months we've seen a 30 to 40 percent value in the equity markets and it, and it is certainly becoming a bubble now okay we certainly are into bubble territory with the SP potentially being marked up now to 2450 2500 everybody is uh, on the fomo fomo uh, bandwagon which is fear of missing out and for my understanding that certainly is uh, signaling a potential top now in terms of the um, the actual uh, te uh, technical picture let's quickly go to a technical picture now the german dax and a daily chart retesting that double top pattern okay so uh, at present we clearly have resistance at double top at 12 thousand okay which corresponds with 12,050 if you take out 12,050 then you are looking at 12,300 and you just have to respect the rally itself and I'll adjust accordingly as well now we've certainly got an unfilled gap left behind uh, I was expecting this HS top pattern with this left shoulder here 
uh, head here and then obviously this right shoulder uh, are holding and that hasn't been the case unfortunately as the markets certainly have started to move lower to close the gap below so certainly looking for risk aversion to take hold and, and dominate again the unfilled gap remains at 11.830 so don't be surprised that gap closes on uh, risk aversion and again I'm finding it very hard to believe that uh, US markets are going to go higher on that Trump speech again if it does you have to respect price action and adjust accordingly okay for now i'm maintaining my bearish view as i was yesterday the french cac again defying all odds given the political uncertainty that rages on in the country with phylon now certainly uh, obviously complicating things even more although it has broken out the previous high so again you have to respect that as well if the market breaks it breaks uh, and then again we're into new territory and then we just have to adjust according now the weekly chart i was expecting that topping tail to hold horizontal resistance to hold it's early days yet okay we'll see whether or not the uh, the french cat continues but i'm certainly expecting a risk aversion folks okay certainly looking for risk aversion okay on the 10 minute chart the french cat let's just quickly have a look we certainly continue to break higher uh, again i mean that that gap is phenomenal uh, the gap itself is uh, currently at 4860 currently almost 100 points higher now 80 points and counting potentially uh, hitting a 100 point rally on the french cap given the political uncertainty reigns supreme the last index we'll look at is the euro stocks let's just quickly look at that for you folks euro stocks and daily chart has taken our previous resistance so again you have to respect that to a large extent although on the 60 minute chart it certainly seems like it's uh, reaching an extreme and it wants to pull back and the 10 minute chart also has an unfilled gap below the rsi and stochastics clearly clearly overbought we've obviously exceeded that pivot to r3 uh, resistance if i just put in the pivot points here as well uh, where aren't our pivot points here we go okay so you can clearly see we've exceeded r3 extremely extremely overbought territory that's basically my understanding based on my mathematical metrics and obviously uh, looking at the uh, the actual uh, charting as well along with fundamentals too okay so certainly looking for risk aversion looking for the market retrace looking for that dax to remain below that 12050 level looking for the french cac to certainly pull back as well okay so again risk aversion remains the theme very unlikely for the uh, us markets to continue with the rally given the fact that we have a lack of details lack of substance so looking for risk aversion be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bond